Hi and welcome to my yoga space. Today we're gonna flow together and today's practice is gonna be very easy and open to every level. So if you are a beginner, this is the perfect practice for you. I hope you will enjoy. Take a comfortable seated position, the one you prefer, off lotus or just a simple crossed leg position where you feel comfortable. Place your hands on your knees, engage your core and relax your shoulders. Close your eyes. Start breathing from your nostrils and keep a relaxed breath. Breathe in and out. With your next inhale, bring your chin towards your chest, right ear towards right shoulder, slowly back. Exhale, come back to the center from left. Inhale, right. Exhale, left one more slowly inhale exhale come back to center keep your spine nice and low change side inhale left exhale come back to the center two more inhale exhale Last one in and exhale. As you inhale, bring your chin parallel to the floor, lengthen your spine and slowly open your eyes. Keep your hands on your knees and inhale, open your chest. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, cow tilt. Exhale, cat tilt. In, make it bigger. Exhale, shoulder blades far apart from each other. Inhale. Exhale, you can open your eyes so you can even keep your eyes closed for now. Inhale, open. Exhale. In, lengthen your spine. Exhale, relax your shoulder. Bring your right hand on the mat. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, stretch. If you can, you can place your elbow on the mat. Otherwise, you can just stay up. Gaze up if you can. Shoulder relaxed. Inhale, come up. Exhale, change side. Inhale. Exhale. Keep your arm straight and engaged. Try to avoid to just take it loose here. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, bring your right hand on your left knee. Inhale, and as you exhale, twist. Bring your gaze behind you. Navel in. Spine nice and long. Exhale, come back to center, relax and change side. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, twist a little bit more. Always use your breath to get a little deeper into the pose. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, relax. Bring your hands on the mat and transit into a um, four points position. Bring your hands in line with your shoulders, your knees in line with your hips, top of the feet down, and bring your um, index and middle fingers pointing forward. 
inhale, open your chest, look up, exhale, point your toes under, gaze to the navel, shoulder blades far apart, inhale, cow tilt, exhale, cat tilt, engage the core, three more, inhale, exhale, and in, Last one in and exhale. In, come back to a neutral position. Uh, big toes together, open your knees almost like mat distant apart and come into Balasana child pose. Relax. You can come back into this pose every time you feel the need to during the practice. Inhale, point your toes under, come back into downward facing dog. Keep your knees bent if you need to, hips towards the sky, tailbone up, now in, relax your neck. You can start pedaling out, bring your heels, one heel at a time towards your mat, push the mat away with your hands and then inhale come on your tiptoes exhale push down with your heels as you inhale push with your hands as you exhale push down with your heels keep your navel in relax your neck gaze at knees or if you can towards your navel if this is too much you can safely stay with bent knees and heels up. From here, transit into plank pose. Bring your shoulders over your wrists, navel in, push back with your heels and with your tailbone. Plank pose, stay here for two more breaths. Bring your knees on the mat. We are gonna practice together Chaturanga. If you're a beginner, please uh, bring your knees down, feet up. Inhale and as you exhale come forward and bend your elbows close to your body and exhale down. Inhale, open into Cobra, Bhujangasana. Exhale, go back into Child Pose. We'll do it together one more time. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale, push down. Inhale, plank pose. You can repeat with your knees down. If you're a beginner, I encourage you to do it with your knees down for now. If you already practice, exhale, chaturanga, elbows close to your body. Inhale, open your chest. And as you exhale, downward facing dog. Relax your neck, gaze at your knees or navel. Shoulder far from your ears, exhale, balaza. And then come back into downward facing dog. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Bend your knees, bring your hands to opposite elbows. And just rock your back from side to side. Relax your neck, your face, your shoulders. Bring your hands on the mat, walk forward, come back into downward facing dog and walk with your feet towards your hands this time. Bend your knees, relax and inhale, come up vertebra after vertebra, slowly, last one comes your head, exhale, release. And we get ready for a sun salutation A. Inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, Uttanasa. Inhale, look forward, exhale, step back into plank pose. Knees down, exhale, Chaturanga. Try to find your 90 degrees angle with your arms. Inhale, open Bhujangasana. 
shoulders far from your ears, exhale, downward facing dog. Here you can always keep your heels up, knees bent, adjust the pose according to your practice. Inhale, look forward, walk or step one foot at a time in between your hands. Look forward, exhale, Uttanasana, bend your knees if necessary. Inhale, come back up and exhale. In, exhale, Uttanasana, inhale, look forward, exhale, step back into plank pose. Knees down if you're a beginner. Otherwise, exhale, Chaturanga, inhale, open your chest, exhale, downward facing dog. Stay a couple of more breaths here, lengthen your spine, relax your neck, gaze at Navel. Inhale, look forward, step or walk forward. Inhale, exhale. <laughs> And inhale, come back up, open your chest, exhale, pray your hands. One more, inhale, exhale, Uttanasana, if you want to inhale, look forward, exhale, jump or step back into plank pose. If you want to, you can do a couple more stand salutation A, you can pause the video and keep going. If you're good to go, we can keep going together, a couple more breaths here. Try to um, think of, as if you want your armpits to look towards each other, now relax your neck, one more breath. Inhale, look forward, step, walk, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale Uttanasana, and inhale, come back up, exhale. Okay, now we move to Sun Salutation B. We're gonna do one together. If you need to do more, just pause the video and keep going. Inhale, cherry pose. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step back or jump back into plank pose. Knees down, if you're beginning now your yoga journey. Exhale, Chaturanga, one straight line from shoulders to your hips. Inhale, open. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, bring your right foot in between your hand and open your left foot. Inhale, come up. Hips both looking forward. Exhale down, step back into plank pose. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Step forward. If you can directly step forward, place your foot on the ground and help yourself with your arm forward. Right foot down, inhale, come up. Warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. Exhale, down, step back into plank pose. And exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. And stay a couple of more breaths here. Breathe in and out, relax your neck. As you inhale, push your hands down. As you exhale, push your heels towards the mat. Inhale, look forward, step or jump back, forward. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Navel in, tailbone down. Exhale, release. Okay. Bring your feet, hips distance apart. Bring your hands on your hips. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, bend your knee. Bring your chest towards your tights. Bring your hands on the floor or on two blocks. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend your knees. Now relax your neck. In 
and exhale inhale lengthen your spine exhale down bend your knees try to enjoy a hundred percent this moment inhale exhale and one more in and exhale thumb index and middle fingers grab your big toes inhale look forward exhale padangustasana elbows out weight slightly forward relax your neck shoulders bend your knees try to bring your chest towards your thighs first thing and only if you can do that then work on straightening your legs inhale lengthen exhale go a little bit deeper into the pose inhale look forward repeat the same variation or if you can you can bring your palms under your feet inhale forward exhale down same thing here waist slightly forward lean a little bit forward relax your shoulders chest the tights inhale lengthen exhale go a little bit deeper couple of more breaths here inhale look forward exhale relax bring your hands to opposite elbows and just go from side to side release your hands and slowly come back up vertebra after vertebra okay exhale release let's do some balancing poses let's start with three pose bring your feet together hands on your hips open your chest tailbone down ground your left foot on the ground and bring your uh, your right foot on your ankle on your inner tight or even under your knee if you need to the only important thing is that you don't place it directly on your knee so lower or higher if you can go higher just go higher place your foot uh, against the inner tight and push against the inner tight and with the inner tight against your foot open your knee and breathe into the pose if you can bring your hands in prayer pose Anjali Mudra keep your chest open now in a couple more breaths here from here directly try to transition into eagle pose bring your hands on your hips bend your knee and place your right leg over you can stay here that's fine for today or if you can go into a double hook this is the leg variation if you can go ahead with the arms variation bring your right arm under your left and place your palms together if you can and push up with your elbows down with your tailbone if this is too much you can even bring your hands to opposite shoulders that's fine as well for now breathe in and out inhale release exhale shake your legs relax and let's repeat it to the other side so um, activate your right leg toes up and back down feel the strength in your leg in the lower leg bring your left foot at the ankle at the shin or if you can inner tight opposite forces activate your inner tights your core hands on your hips or if you can pray your pose keep your chest open keep breathing couple more you can even try to close your eyes just to challenge yourself a little bit it's very hard 
Okay, bring your hands back on your hips, bend your knee and transition into Garudasana, Eagle Pose. Simple or a double hook if you can go for the arm variation as well. So this time we have right arm up, left down, palms together if we can, engage your core, tailbone down, elbows up. Inhale, open, exhale, release, shake your legs. <sighs> Go back to the front of your mat, feet together. Inhale, exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, look forward, exhale, step back into plank pose. Chaturanga, inhale, open your chest, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up, exhale, bring your right foot in between your hands and bring your left foot a little bit closer. Inhale, look forward, exhale, bring your navel towards your right tight, exhale, down. You don't have to be with your chest touching your tight, if you're higher it's fine if your hands don't touch the floor you can easily bring your hands on to blocks or some objects you have at home don't worry we'll get there try to push back with your right hip and forward slightly forward with your left hip inhale look forward open towards your left bring your toes pointing pointing forward or a little bit to the inward, hands in line with your feet, inhale, look forward, exhale, bring it the crown of your head towards your mat, elbows in, inhale, lengthen, exhale, go a little bit deeper into the pose, you can bend your knees, don't worry about that, bring your weight always slightly forward, keep your core engaged, one more breath. Inhale, look forward. As you exhale, turn to your left. Exhale, into downward facing dog. Inhale, ear, lengthen your spine. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bring your left leg up. Exhale, step forward. Bring your right foot a little bit closer. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, Pajvottanasana, pyramid pose. Keep your hips on the same line. If this is too much, bring your hands on blocks or on your shin. You can be here, that's totally fine as well. Keep your legs engaged. Try to imagine to reach with your heels one towards the other. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, turn to the center. Bring your feet a little bit farther away if you need to. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, Prasarita Padottanasana. If you need, you can place your hands even here on blocks. Or if that's too much, bend your knees, bring your hands on your hips, that's fine as well for now, just relax into the pose. But keep your legs engaged, try to uh, push down with the inner part of your feet towards the mat and in, one toward the other. Inhale, look forward, turn to your right, exhale, go back into downward facing dog. Lengthen your spine. Relax your neck, inhale, right leg up, exhale, step forward. Left foot 45 degrees, inhale, come up into warrior one. Navel in, push back with your right hip forward with your left. Exhale, open into warrior two. Always keep your um, knee in line with your ankle or a little bit back but never uh, go beyond that line. 
push back with your right knee couple of more breaths here inhale straight legs bring your heels a little bit closer to each other if you need to inhale lengthen up forward exhale three canals and a triangle pose you can have your hand on your shin on the mat back depending on your flexibility push a little bit back with your right hip a little bit forward with your left hip keep opening your chest sometimes it just get confusing between left and right <laughs> one more inhale come up and as you exhale reverse trikonasana try to, to stretch your side body here look up if you can keep your legs engaged one more breath two more inhale come back up bend your knee interlace your fingers behind your back inhale turn to the front open your chest and as you exhale bring your forehead towards the mat uh, right shoulder inside the right knee and try to hug your knee towards your shoulder in open exhale down try to reach the mat with your forehead towards your foot you don't have to be so deep into the pose if you are here that's totally fine keep your core engaged feet both completely on the mat inhale look forward exhale knee down go deep into this low lunge keep breathing into the pose keep your left hand down bring your right hand on your right knee bring your foot a little bit more to the right sole of the foot up and open your chest open your hip lengthen your spine long 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 spine here exhale back to the center both hands on the mat point your toes under step back into plank pose if you're a beginner remember always knee down top of the foot up exhale strong core chaturanga inhale open your chest exhale downward facing dog okay now we do the left side so that i can show you the other side so that you can really understand the pose the poses all of them <laughs> inhale left leg up exhale step forward inhale bring your right foot on the mat heels on the same line inhale come up into warrior one here you can both have your hands together if you can you can bring your gaze up but hands facing each other is totally fine navel in keep your hips on the same line then exhale open into warrior two here if you need to you can bring your feet a little bit further away from each other go a little bit deeper into the pose and keep your knee in line with your ankle or a little bit behind if that's too much for you today active arms try not to let them go loose but really engage your arms your hands open your hips engage your core in a straight legs bring feet a little bit closer to each other up forward exhale three kanasa adjust the pose according to your flexibility you can be here you can be here you can be here everything is fine as long as your chest stays open if you can gaze up if your neck is in pain just look forward try to imagine like you have a wall behind your back and you want to lean on it with your entire back flat inhale come up going to reverse three canals and as you exhale lengthen all the left side of your body engage your legs attract one heels one heel toward the other as you inhale come up 
bend your knee, interlace your fingers, inhale, open your chest, turn to the front, and as you exhale, left shoulder inside your left knee, open your chest, exhale, bring your forehead towards your big toe. You can go all the way down, keeping your right foot grounded on the mat. If that's too much, just look forward and open your chest, your shoulders, keep your core and leg engaged. Inhale, come up, exhale, hands and knee down. Lengthen your spine, keep pushing down with your pubic bones, keep your hips in line. Okay, right hand on the mat, open a little bit to the side your left foot, hand on your knee, place your outside of the foot down, sole up, inhale, lengthen, exhale, open. I really wanted to show the other side of the pose as well so that you can really understand how to get into it. Inhale, back to the center, hands down. Exhale, back into plank pose. Strong core, exhale, chaturanga, knees down are fine as well. Inhale, open your chest. And as you exhale, downward facing dog, relax here for a couple of breaths. Inhale, look forward, step or jump forward, lengthen your spine, exhale, Uttanasana. Stay here, relax your shoulders, neck, bend your knees wherever you are. Hands are your shins. Everything is okay. And then slowly come back up. Exhale, relax. Okay, from here, just inhale, chair pose. Arms parallel to the floor. Exhale, bring your gluteus down on the mat and bring your knees towards your chest. Hug your knees in, open your chest, lengthen your spine, and bring your hands behind your knees. Inhale, shins parallel to the floor, engage your core, navel in. If you can, palms facing each other, if you can't. First option is fine. Couple of more breaths here. Try to imagine to bring your knees towards your chest and chest towards your knees. Try to feel the difference. Exhale, push the floor away. Inhale, come back into Navasana, boat pose. If you can this time, open your arms and keep pushing chest towards knees and vice versa. Smile, enjoy the energy that you can feel in this pose. Exhale, down, and inhale, one more. This time, if you can, palms together, up, open your chest, keep breathing, gaze at the toes, if you can. Exhale, down. And come on your knees, bring your knees in line with your hips, Hips width apart, toes under, hands on your hips, elbows one toward the other. Inhale, open your chest and go into an easy camel pose. Tuck your tailbone down and push towards the sky with your chest, with your heart. Try to feel the entire front body lengthening and stretching. Keep your chin towards your chest for now. Inhale, come back up, exhale, relax. You can repeat the exactly same variation or if you feel ready, you can bring your hands in prayer position. Inhale, lengthen your spine, navel in, tailbone down and bend. If you feel ready, you can even bring your gaze back. 
In this pose, always try to keep breathing and remember to keep your hips in line with your knees, not to go too back or too forward. Just in line. Relax your shoulders. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, release. From here, you can go for one last vinyasa, step back into plank pose. If we are beginning now, knees down. We go back, sitting on the mat. Bring your glutes both down, activate your feet, inhale, come up, navel in, and as you exhale, go forward into Paschimottanasana. Inhale, exhale down, just adjust the pose to your own practice. Inhale, lengthen, exhale. Go a little bit deeper into the pose. If you can, grab your big toes, inhale, active feet, push in the opposite direction with your uh, big toes. And stay here for a couple of breaths. If you are a beginner and this is very hard for you, you can try another variation, another option. You can bend your knees, bring your heels on the mat, a slippery floor would be better in this case. Hug your tights and open your chest. Keep your chest to your tights and keep opening your chest. Just keep this variation and slide on the floor or on the mat. As much as you can, keeping tights and chest together and chest open. And go as deep as you can. You can just stop whatever you feel that you need to. One more breath. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, release. Bring your back on the mat. Okay, I'll have to put out the microphone. Okay, great. Bring your knees towards your chest. Hug your knees and rock from side to side. Try to push the entire back, then try the entire spine on the mat. Navel towards the spine. And now we go for a gentle twist. We want to bring our knees towards our right side. Gaze to the left, left palm up. Try to bring both shoulders on the mat and try to release. Start just relaxing into the pose, enjoying this moment. As we reach the end of this practice. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale and change side. Keep your gaze towards your right side keep breathing just focus on your breath come back to the center bring again your knees towards the chest hug them in flat back on the ground Close your eyes and prepare for the final part of this practice. Bring your feet down, hips width apart, relax your hands on the mat and just go from one side to the other with your knees. I'm relaxing as well. <laughs> Talking is harder when you're laying on your back than when you're moving through a vinyasa. Okay, stop at the center, bring your sole of the feet together, soles of the feet together and open your knees to 
to the side. Just relax here in Supta Baddha Konasana for a couple of breaths. Just focus on your body, on your mind, just visualize how you feel after your practice today, if you feel any better, if you feel any lighter. And from here, transition into Shavasana. Straight legs, straight arms, relaxed. Relax the point of the feet, out, palms facing up, close your eyes, just relax your breath, just let it go. And with every exhale, feel your body a little bit more relaxed and totally abandoned towards the mat. I hope you enjoyed this practice. Enjoy your Shavasana, just rest for a couple of minutes or as long as you need to. And thank you for joining me. Namaste.